All right, so welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AD Summer for Four. So today, guys, I'm gonna talk to you guys about the 2026 World Cup. So it's official. FIFA has approved earlier today that the World Cup will have groups of four and not groups of three. 12 groups of four, as opposed to 16 groups of three. And with the top two teams in each group advancing, with the uh, best third place teams advancing, eight of the best third place teams advancing. Now, let me tell you guys what I believe about this. I think it's a great change. I think it's a great change because. You saw how much, uh, you see how much drama there was in the final match today. And the last World Cup in particular, Uruguay going out. Then we had Iran going out on the final match day. Then you had um, Belgium going out. You know, with the groups at three, there wouldn't be that much final day drama, as well as the fact that teams aren't even playing at the same time. You know, one team is going to have an advantage and say, oh, you know, we're going to, we have an advantage and we, can, we get to play on the next match day, you know. And it just it just ruined the whole mood of the World Cup, you know. It felt like there wouldn't be it wouldn't be that much fair and anything like that. And I just think it's a great great idea from FIFA to, you know, um, to stop that. Now my my one concern though is that with with because of the fact that calendar is going to stay the same, I believe with the same World Cup, we're going to basically have like around eight games per day, because I believe in the last World Cup we had like four games per day, which was already enough for me. And now you add in the fact that we're going to have, like, six slots. I mean, it's going to be crazy, guys. The schedule and everything like that. And it's going to be very, very problematic, too. You know, especially for me. Because I'm going to try to attend these games. Because, of course, it's held in my country, the United States. So, you know, it's going to be very, very difficult for me to, like, you know, have that kind of, you know, luxury. And, like, you know, because I want to go ahead and see this World Cup. I want, I, I, might, I, I want to visit all the games, to be honest with you. But now it's really not realistic because of the fact that, you know, with the whole games per day and there's gonna be a lot there, there might even be some games at the same time so you know it's gonna be very interesting to see what happens and there's gonna be 104 games as well which will be a lot of games you know and obviously i think we had our original format was like 64 so we're gonna have like 40 more additional games and so i don't know man it's it's not looking the best and i'm i'm very skeptical of that but um hopefully um things go well like i said i'm really excited for the next world cup it should be very very exciting you know, we just saw how much the World Cup was, 2022, and this will be taking place this summer, thankfully, because I wouldn't have been able to do this mid-year, let me just say this right now, like we did in the last World Cup, so it's going to be great to have this in the summer, enjoy the summer World Cup vibes, and yeah. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video, guys, you guys know this is a channel for international content, so I cover Copa America, I cover the Euros, AFCON, Gold Cup, anything you name, I cover here on this channel. I'm a big international fan, and I just love international football, so... Stay tuned, guys. Um, remember, guys, to like this video, enjoy. Subscribe if you're new on here. Comment down below your thoughts in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.